Hi, I'm Fred. This is Vlogmas 2020. Today's topic, Lageria. Today's beer. Let's see. Dirty Bastard by Founders. I'm kind of happy I have yet to find one of these bottles I bought at the twist off. That's a good sign for me. I mean, twist offs could be convenient, don't get me wrong, but you don't find them on the uh, higher quality beers. Oh, this is a uh, Scottish ale. Scottish style ale. Because, you know, it's not made in Scotland, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's one of those champagne things. You know, it's depends on what region the berries are from. The beer berries. <laughs> Lageria, appropriately enough, is a term meaning uh, diarrhea of the mouth, essentially. Spouting off words. Years ago, I thought I'd coined this term, and I was surprised to learn that it was actually in dictionaries. Because <laughs> um, it really, logo is, you know, I think it was Greek for word. Uh, Rhea, meaning, I don't know, a small bird. No, no, the actress, Rhea Perlman, definitely. Um, <laughs> the term itself, though, was uh, was essentially diarrhea of the mouth. Because people in all walks of life like a good pun. This is pretty good. I'm fairly certain I've had this before. I don't remember. It's got an odd taste. I can't figure it out. It might be the fact that I just had a piece of candy and so it's extra not sweet. Um, so that might have been a bad idea. We'll find out. Or not. I mean, technically the whole beer a day has been a bad idea for three weeks now. <clears throat> it's not like ruined my life. Uh, my sleep has been worse, but that could have just been any number of things. Um, you know, <clears throat> a cold... Um, changing temperature, the fact that I'm drinking a beer every night. I don't, it's, it's impossible to really tell. Uh, last night I was up super late. I got a new piece of furniture because that's all I've been doing lately is buying furniture. And it took me, what was it, 11 hours from the time I started cleaning up the living room and get the old furniture out to the time I was done. And it was almost ready for bed. And I had worked eight hours before, so it was a fun night. Um, I'm not so much exhausted. I slept okay, not great. <clears throat> Pardon, but boy, am I sore. I walked around for five minutes getting things set up, and I sat down in this chair to make sure my screen was there, and I was like, oh, it feels really good to sit, even though I've been mostly sitting all day. So, um, I was like, what am I talking about, Lageria? Some of these topics just came to mind. I put them down whether or not they seemed like they would be a good topic. If you can't tell from watching this video, let's assume you've never watched any of my other videos, this is your introduction to me. Welcome. Uh, Lagerie is something I wouldn't say I suffer from, but it definitely is a word that can describe me or what I do. I spew forth a lot of words. Um, not always. There are times, and some of my friends and family even would be surprised where I'm just quiet, shy, retiring. I'm an extrovert. But I sometimes classify myself, classify myself as a shy extrovert. New situations, especially if there's people that, I don't know, I don't know and don't know how to react, I will a lot of times lurk in real life. Um, however, I get garrulous other times. Um, see my video on words. Um, and that's when Lageria happens. Um, it happens a lot... All of us need alone time, but if I get too much of it, if I don't, if I go too long without talking to someone in real life, I will tend to spew forth whatever comes to mind. My wife is very familiar with this, with me coming home from work or being done with work now that I work at home, and we work completely different shifts now. So she went through it already today because uh, she's working third shift. So when she got up and we were talking, I just bad, babbled a lot about whoever. Hopefully, mostly on topic. Um, it can happen to people when they're nervous. Sometimes it happens, but usually if I get nervous, that's when I get quiet. Um, it really happens if I'm tired and I don't know if I'm trying to stay awake or if like it's just the adrenaline keeping me awake and it makes me a little bit more hyper. That's, uh, that's a lot of times when I'll just flip from topic to topic and just keep going. Oh, I was, I was like, read my notes. My notes are here. You can no longer see them in the shot. Yes, I'm back to my old setup. Oldish. 
I mean, it's only been two weeks. It's hardly an old setup. But it's a different. It's the, the, the more original setup. Whatever. Why am I babbling about that? I got other things to babble about. Um, <clears throat> including forgetting what I was just saying. I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. Um, so the ability to talk incessantly, um, sometimes without forethought or any thought, I think is one that a lot of successful YouTubers have. Um, recently, I've seen some, someone talk about the difference between a Twitch streamer and a gamer on YouTube. Um, and Twitch streamers, especially not necessarily streamers on YouTube, I don't, I don't really pay attention, um, know that silence, it works. People will show up to watch, the, you know, to watch you play, not necessarily to listen to you talk while you do it. I think YouTube has gotten more of a reputation of being tutorial based, and so people will talk through their videos, their gameplay even, because they're teaching at the same time. You could do the same thing by just not talking at all and letting people watch your video, um, but I don't think it's fairly typical. Sometimes it's, it happens. Sometimes I've done it. <clears throat> and I'm a hugely successful YouTuber. Um, and the fact of that I put YouTube videos out successfully. Uh, so, I mean, it's kind of different styles. I think that... Um, I don't know. I think a lot of our entertainment is based around the idea of avoiding dead air. I know that... Uh, it's something I've had to come to terms with, like as a, as an actor to a certain degree, but especially as a director, not just adding dramatic pauses or pauses to, for laugh or pauses even to make a joke hit, but sometimes like putting in pauses just for putting in pauses. I once did an open mic thing. It was I, I, it was a fundraiser for something. It was fairly recently, late last year, I guess, and they were doing a, a one minute open mic. You donate a dollar or more, and you got to go up to the mic and do whatever you want for a minute. Um, and people went up there, and they told stories, and maybe a joke or two, and, you know, we're all having a good time. It was kind of later after we already seen some other entertainment, and so I went up there, I put my dollar in, and I said something along the lines of, I forget what I said, even along the lines of, something along the lines of, you know, we've all had a lot to say or something like that. So I'm not, oh, we could choose to say what we want or use our minute however we want, so I choose not to speak. And I stood there for you know, the rest of my minute, staring at everyone, you know, kind of nodding and acknowledging people and, you know, doing the little chin thing, you know, maybe some waves, and just sitting there. And it's interesting because that makes me super uncomfortable. Dead air does make me super, super uncomfortable. Um, and it certainly didn't make the audience feel any good. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, we get it. You know, you go down. I'm like, no, I'm taking my whole minute. And I took my whole minute. You know, they thought I was done, but no, they got the point, but I wanted my full minute to really nail it home. Um, I'm quite proud of that moment, not just because it makes me laugh when looking back, but because as someone who definitely feels the need to fill the void with something, um, sometimes it's good to embrace it, even though it makes you uncomfortable, even though it makes everyone around you uncomfortable. It's not a bad kind of uncomfortable. I wasn't ogling people. I wasn't, you know, making rude gestures. I was just standing there. It was the uncomfortable, like, how comfortable can you be in yourself wherever you are? And I think for most of us, we're not that comfortable. And I think that's a lot of where this whole idea of logaria comes from. When we do feel some sort of discomfort, we try to fill in the gaps with something just so that there's something to focus on, something else going on. Um, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't think it really matters. There's, it could be one, it could be both. It kind of depends on the situation. I think in general, it's neither good nor bad. It's just what happens. I think that's uh, a lot of what we kind of forget about just ourselves is humans will do the same thing over and over again, and it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. It's just what we do. We're very instinctual creatures, even though we try to imagine ourselves as being more logical than that. Um, I am not a philosopher. I'm not a philosopher. I, I don't even know if I took any philosophy classes, actually. Maybe one. I feel like I had to take one. Um... But it's, you know, just observation, just reading things, seeing. Once again, I could be right, could be wrong. <laughs> I, I absolutely don't care. I'll, talk, I'll tell you my opinions like it matters to me, but eh, whatever. Some of them do, some of them don't. And <laughs> even I don't know which ones are which. <laughs> so, 
I've still, oh, yeah, I was wrong last night. I forgot what last night was. It was because I was in the middle of building furniture. Last night was Friday. Tonight is Saturday. My Minecraft video will be coming up tomorrow. I still haven't started it. I started Minecraft, at least. I think I know what I'm building, so I got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I'll be fine. I've been late a few times, usually for technology reasons. Once or twice because I was just could not figure things out. Um, they say don't worry about having a schedule when you start off. I've been doing it for two years. I don't, is that still starting? I don't have many subs, so maybe. At any rate, whatever happens, I'll talk to you later. Catch out the rest. Check out the rest of these videos. Check out my other channels. Say hey if you see me somewhere else. Social media. You know I've got Twitter. I'm not really active. Sometimes I'm active. Sometimes I'm not. I don't have a, uh, another toast. So uh, let's do slancha.